Hello, I'm John Oni. Hello, I'm Ben Branham. And this is the Creative Studio Productions Podcast. Hello. Hi. How was your weekend? My weekend was good. That was yours. What did you do this weekend? This weekend, I had plans to paint the exterior of the house. And so you had plans to paint the exterior of the house. Did you actually paint it, though? No, because (laughs) it wasn't because I'm lazy. It was because the weather wasn't cooperating. It was so hot and humid, and then in the morning, it would pour rain. And I'm like, I'm not going to go out there. And I have to get pretty high to get up on top of the the second story, well, the second story to paint. Sorry, it freaks me out. So I'm like, it's got to be, conditions have to be perfect. I'm always yeah. Thinking. Was it windy? So, no, it wasn't too windy, but really? it was just kind of gross and nasty. So I painted my office instead. Oh, yeah. That's fun. Yeah, it turned out really well. Did you paint it orange? No, I didn't paint it orange. <laughs> What'd you uh, paint it? It was kind of a dark taupe brown. And uh, I actually went really bold and did black. Oh, wow. And uh, light gray. It looks, wow. it looks pretty sharp. You aren't kidding. You know, last season, uh, we really focused a lot on kind of the story-based marketing and story-based branding. Um, And we've kind of done that the last two seasons. But something uh, we had an idea about was people really don't get to see kind of behind the curtain of Creative Studio Productions so much. Like... Um, they kind of they kind of got our secret sauce a little bit in the mm-hmm. first two seasons, mm-hmm. like kind of how we do things. Um, and I think it was you who actually came up with the idea. You know what? Let's just put a camera on while we're doing a creative yeah. meeting where we're talking about stuff. Oh my gosh! Because our meetings are well, they're random. Right. Uh, there's like <laughs> zero agenda. Uh, there's no yeah. No, right. There's nothing that yeah. And and I'm and and we make each other laugh. We, we yeah, laugh. We absolutely. laugh. We laugh at each other's jokes. Yeah. Um. But that kind of spawned the idea of this season's podcast really being kind of about kind of our successes mm-hmm. and our failures. Mm-hmm. Kind of what has worked over uh, the course of our time being open. Uh, we're still fairly new company absolutely um we've had some great successes but Mm -hmm. we've also had some failures for sure and then we've had uh failures that kind of turn into successes and those are some of the best failures you can have because you can learn from those uh, mistakes or learn from those situations and today we're actually going to talk about one of those failures that really in my opinion turned into a really good success for our company Absolutely. So, and that is? Yeah, our uh, mugs. Uh, we wanted to, This the idea was that we wanted to give something away during Christmas and to give them away to our awesome clients and as use them as a promotional item as well. Right. And so we were brainstorming, like, what do we even do? What do we yeah. even, like, give away? Um, I think I wanted to do, like, a really expensive, like, travel mug. Yes, It was, did. like, $15. Yeah. You had like high expectations. <laughs> and you had to bring me back down a yeah, little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Like, let's do a Frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> and it were mini Frisbees. Yeah, like, who yeah. uses those? Was that for a dog? Is yeah. that for a cat? What? Yeah, no. I don't think, I think they're basically a coaster. <laughs> Is that what they are? Yeah, I think so. No. <laughs> they're a Frisbee. <laughs> Anyways, we ended up settling on uh, that kind of a it was a less expensive Mm -hmm. mug yeah but it looked like like a sweater like a sweater which was perfect in our eyes at the time because we're like this is christmas time we want to do an ugly christmas sweater mug and it was very ugly um in fact i think i said john you got to see how ugly this mug is and i you i showed it to you you absolutely we need it that was like are you serious you want this? that was yes and uh and I'm like, okay. And, um, but you have to, th- I like ugly things. You do. You drive I mean, ugly cars. I mean, all the cars I've owned. <laughs> yes. Pontiac like, Aztec. Yeah, like boxes. Nissan Cube. <laughs> yeah. I have a Ford Flex now. Those They're all cool boxes and <laughs> <laughs> ugly cars. Yes. But, um, it was really perfect. It was, yeah. it was unique and ugly. Right. And you came up with an amazing, like phrase that we were going to put on it, this mug is terrible. Right. Which made me literally laugh out loud, which doesn't <laughs> happen all that often off the, you know, a saying or yeah. something. And so we started right away just coming up with the design. 
Yep. And uh, we sent it off to the printer. We, you know, a couple of days later, we got a proof back. Yeah. And I think uh, when we were talking about the design, we wanted to include our logo. Yeah, we did. Want to include our website. Um, it, yeah, the the tagline, this mm -hmm. mug is terrible. And then it, underneath that, it said, we make brands, not cups. Right. Um, which just kind of goes along with our kind of quirky sense of humor anyways. Absolutely. And we thought initially that it would have a pretty decent size print area. Right. That you could actually read it. Right. When we got the proof back, it was literally like a postage stamp size. <laughs> and we're like, you can't even read <laughs> yeah. our website or any of it. It was so tiny. And I think we, yeah. And so it was pretty much a, a no-go. Yeah. Because it, everything was so small. Like you could barely even fit our logo on there. Yeah, we um, even messed around with the idea yeah, of doing just our logo. Just our logo. And then it was like, well, that's, it doesn't say it's anything. Dumb. It, it's dumb. Yeah. It's boring. Nobody's going to want this. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, we had to go right back to the drawing boards. Right. But we did, I think we contacted the company and didn't we even like contact a couple other companies because yes. we really wanted this book? Yes. Yes. In fact, you were so depressed that like, <laughs> I'd, come, I'd come into work and you're just like slumped over your desk, like just completely depressed. Yeah. So, like, well, John, come on. It was a good, it was a good idea. It was a great idea that yeah. did not pan no, out for us, no. and um, we kind of had to go back, like you said, to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I was talking it over with my wife, and uh, she kind of came up with this idea of, "Hey, why don't you just do just the most basic mug you can find?" And I was like, "Okay, that's interesting." Um, and then because she said the word "basic," mm -hmm. we were watching this um, <laughs> this show called the good place and they have the saying on it you know like yeah basic and and whatever and that's what kristen bell's character says all the time and it just when she said basic mug i was like hmm how could we incorporate that saying that pop culture reference into the mug and so i just we just said let's just write yeah basic mug on it yep. you know kind of just to just to kind of tell what it is and and whatnot kind of make fun of it and and yeah and have something unique right and the cool thing was we found a company that was able to not only get a pretty decent size print right but we could do both sides yeah and so we could not only make fun of it but we could also say you know our little tagline we make brands not cups right and then also have our logo and website right and to be honest with you at first it was kind of um it was kind of still a letdown i i, yeah. I think i was kind of like yeah I still wasn't as excited about this cup mm -hmm. as I was mm -hmm. about the ugly sweater. And I was just like, the ugly sweater one's just so much better. And there's just kind of this little, I don't know, you know, oh, I guess it is what it is kind of right. attitude. Right. Which was not healthy. But what ended up happening was actually way better mm -hmm. than if we had printed, if, even if the ugly sweater cups we could print full size on. Uh, this cup ended up better. Yes, because it wasn't like Christmas or season specific. Right. We could, it was generic enough that we could give it for Christmas, put some candies in it. Yep. You know, With and, a little and Christmas give it card. To, our, to our friends and family and clients. And not only that, but we could give them away as promotional throughout the entire year. Right. And people have come up to both of us and right. we're like, I still love my mug. Thank you for my yep. mug. I use it every day on my desk. Right. And it brings a smile to their face. Yeah. And yeah, it's just been a great little. Yeah. I actually got a call from a client the other day um, that just said, hey, uh, I was just reminded to call you because I have your mug on my desk. It's amazing. <laughs> you know, and yeah. just said, hey, I want to, you know, a quote on a, on a video project or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's marketing for us even when we're not marketing ourselves you yes. know so whether it's sitting out on somebody's desk and a co-worker comes by and you know chuckles at it or says what's that company do mm -hmm. you know we're able to still market even though if it was a christmas sweater mug yeah people probably wouldn't have that sitting out on their desk probably not you know yeah it's and too specific right too specific to su to one season right versus if we can put candies and mm -hmm. stuff in for christmas maybe halloween we put some little pumpkin stuff in or whatever it is right we have these cups that are able to continue to market for us even though we're not actively doing anything. And it's a great appreciation gift too because people are using it. They think it's funny. Yeah. You know, they yeah. want to use that cup. Yeah. So um, that's how kind of that failure of the Christmas mugs kind of turned into kind of a successful marketing mug for us. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. 
And that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening. Yes, and thank you. we hope to see you again next time. And don't forget to tip your DoorDash drivers. Absolutely. Bye, everybody. See ya.